Hey, hey, what is shaking YouTube today? I'm gonna teach you guys how to shoot bottle caps with just a snap of your fingers. This is really easy, a lot of fun, and you can make these go really far. So, um, one more example and then we'll get into it. Got my bottle cap, got some cups about 10 feet away, and here goes nothing. Boom. So, now let's get into how to do it. Okay guys, so to do this, it is actually really simple. You're gonna need a bottle cap. It can be any standard bottle cap. It doesn't really matter. Okay, there's only a couple things to this. You One, you have to, the motion you do when you throw it is actually a snap of your fingers. So you have to be able to kind of snap your fingers. Otherwise, you're gonna, your first step, oops, sorry camera. Your first step is actually gonna be learning how to snap your fingers. So, if you don't know how to do that, learn that first, come back here. But, okay, then to hold it, it's kind of gonna be kind of like an interesting grip. It's kind of gonna go off the top of my finger like that. And then I'm going to snap my fingers to get it to spin this way. So it starts spinning out of my hand. Because it's going to fly like a frisbee. Now, it is better if you use a bottle cap that is not bent. Sometimes when you use, um, you know, like a, a bottle opener, it can bend the bottle cap. You want them to be fairly circular so they spin better. Okay, now, um, the easiest way when I was first learning how to do this, which was many, many years ago, how to, was how to grip it was just, I would place it on my hand, then with my other hand, I would take my middle finger and my thumb, and you're gonna put your middle finger there, and you're gonna grab it on the side, and that is about the grip you're gonna do. Okay, now you're gonna say, well, isn't that gonna go straight down? Yeah, because, you, but you're gonna hold your elbow out in front. Let me uh, adjust this camera a little bit, come over here. So, I am actually, Instead of holding it like this, I'm gonna tilt my arm all the way up. I'm gonna, so that way it comes off like this. And you are actually, on this one you're gonna aim with your elbow because you have to hold your hand kind of high. And you actually wanna keep your, keep your arm fairly close. You don't wanna be out like this. You wanna be in line with your body. And that's gonna make the aiming really, really easy. So basically, when I hold it here, I aim with my elbow, and then I just snap my fingers, and it'll spin and take off. Now, this is not really hard at all. It will take a little practice. The hardest thing actually is just getting accurate with it. Um, but once again, I put it in my, in my hand, I put my middle finger in there, I grab it on the side. Now that is about where I'm gonna fling it from. Everybody's different. So if you wanna make a slight adjustment one way or the other, because it fits your hand better, that is up to you. But for me, it is pretty much, give or take, right where I pinch it from, right there. Um, and then you're going to want to, when you practice, I would practice shooting it at my couch over and over again, just get the motion down. And then once you get the motion down, you can put up some cups or something. And that way you can really have a target and something fun to shoot with. So nothing really to this, but let's, um, let's get a little better angle. Let me show you like two or three that I shoot in slow-mo. Um, just, it might just help you understand the mechanics a little better. So let's do that. Okay guys, I got some bottle caps. I got the cup stacked over there. So let's see if I can hit them. We'll slow it down to slow-mo. So I'm going to be kind of off frame a little. I'm going to keep my arm in. So this is going to be really hard for me to aim. So here, hopefully I can get this. Aim with the elbow and boom. Okay, hopefully that slow-mo helped. Let me do, I'm just going to fire these two off at the wall. And uh, same thing. Also too, if your hands are really dry like mine, it helps if you lick your fingers a little. It makes it easier to snap them. Pro tip. I'm just gonna fire these off at the wall. So pay attention to my hand. Come on, focus. And... Oh, that wasn't my best shot. Not bad though. Okay guys, so really, really easy. The hardest thing about this is getting it to do that perfect spiral, which really just takes practice. Even I, I've been doing this for years and I can't do it every try. Um, but it is a lot of fun. Uh, a little more harder accuracy than the coin video. If you saw the, how to shoot coins, that's a little bit easier. If this is too hard for you, go watch that video, learn how to do that, and then come back and do this because they're both very similar. I'm also gonna be teaching another trick in this same type of category soon. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.